Right guys, we're back uh, for GP2. This is race coverage. I'm going to go through at the drive. Are you doing my countdown of the positions? That's mine. Do not take that from me. <laughs> Woof. Jambo in sixth place with HP E footy. They've got the third round. <laughs> third row. Third row. Third. I said grow. Calm down, all right? <laughs> and then we on the second row of the grid, we've got Dizzy Cupid in the Toro Rosso and just like Senna with the Williams. But then, the most shocking of all front rows that we've ever seen in my life is effectively Pastor Maldonado and Ryan. <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. It's LGS and Ryan. LGS are well-deserved pole position. This first one he's got this season. First one I think he's had for over a season now. So, great job to him. Hopefully, he can do well. But we are going out to track because somebody's already readied up. And... Uh, that would be bothered it's because I took his job. But nonetheless, 27% chance of rain. And we've got 33 laps of Catalonia to enjoy. So guys, buckle up your seatbelts. Sit down. Get your popcorn. Because tonight is going to be absolutely fantastic. And amazingly, we haven't had the dogs yet. <laughs> Obviously because that's what we want. Well, it is, a, it is a dry start here at the Circuit de Catalunya, just outside of Barcelona, McSpain. Obviously, Chris and I starting off in the battle. That's good. We don't have to move out of the way for flying down and stuff. For the first time in history, you were ahead of me. I know. It's all good in the hood. <laughs> Toby, yes, you got out qualified you. Well, guys, we've got three red lights, four. There's the fifth. And it's lights out, and away we go for the round five of the XML GP2 division. And can LG LGS has got a poor start. He's already down to seventh. Oh, dearie me, LGS. What happened there? And Ryan has taken the lead provisionally, but I think that's just like Senna on the inside trying to do Oh, there's a side bit of a nudge there by the Mercedes. Oh, and that Mercedes was LGS and Jambo. That would definitely be investigated. LGS is second, so it was Dizzy Cupid. Okay, we'll be Dizzy Cupid and Jambo then, and there's a lag in Williams as well. So LGS has lost his lead off the start, and it's Ryan who takes. Oh, is that just like Senna waiting and bracing, or is he is he lagging? He's lagging. Because he's just lost, the, and there's the ever flying flag. Yeah, he's just lagged back into fourth place. I thought. So. Yeah, and Jambo is down into thirteenth, and we've got a Williams in the gravel, and that is just like Senna. Probably lag back ahead unless he actually did go. No, he the actually did, and he just lost connection. Oh, dear me. Well, that's unfortunate. But, uh, well, Weekly Nip hasn't had the same start as he did last race. And, well, his teammate Jambo, P12, and what is now last place? Oh, he's trying to make a move on the uh, the fourth Indy there, and he, he does actually see as he's back up into P11. But another bad first lap for Jambo, and again, not really his own fault. Oh, and Ryan's lost. I think he just had a second lag, and LGS is back in the lead. But the problem is he's going to have to defend from those behind because there's a train of cars. There's no DRS, obviously, on these first two laps, but the switching down here is quite powerful. And Ryan is gaining all the time. And LGS, he's having a look on the inside. Ooh. Oh, there's a bit of lag there from Lee. That's okay. I thought Ryan nudged him off there. But fair play, Lee keeps the lead and holds on to it. But Dizzy Cupid... Oh, Ryan's gone wide. Yeah, yeah. Ryan's gone wide. And here comes Dizzy Cupid and the McLaren on the inside. Is he going to take a double overtake here, that McLaren driver? I think it's HP Footy. I'll have a quick look, and indeed it is Footy. He's now got the outside into turn five. It's a Christmas miracle. Toro Rosso are one and two. He shuts the door on him. Great defending there. Good, good opportunistic move there from both Dizzy Cupid and HP Footy. Taking advantage of Ryan for safe. 
Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go on the battle with uh, this at behind because I can. Indeed, you can, but uh, Ryan's got a good run on HP Foot as he comes in towards turn 10. He's got the inside line, and that was without the assistance of DRS. And Ryan's moved his way back into P3. He should have stayed on board with that, Chris. A great move there. I was on board. I, I moved on to Ryan. I got on board with it. <laughs> So, next lap, we have the DRS nonetheless. Of again, a little bit of oversight there, and behind them in P5, you're finding Davey. So, these front five and the P6 of the Mercedes. Once again, he's made positions off the start, so watch out for him at the end once again. As you go, yeah, these front five have got a bit of the rest of the field with the signs of the having their own All time is that made sense. <laughs> Well, I'm on board with having a look at the footage, and the footage looks absolutely fantastic. It does, it looks good. As Davey's actually on the far tyres as well. That's interesting. So the top four are option tyres, and then everyone, well, then you've got the Davey and Living Dead in P5 and 6 running on the Well, I know from my own experience that Prime can get to lap 15 easily. So. 15 laps, then 9 and 9 on the options. Very comfortable strategy there. Yeah, but the problem is you're going to lose a lot of time on those prime tyres. They're very durable in the first stint, though. They're very durable in the first stint, though. And as you can see, Davey's only, what, 2 3 seconds behind? And if you think about how much these setup guys are going to lose when the option tyres are going to be at their best at the middle and then stints. Davey's on for a winner here as LGS messes up the final corner and goes into the pits. LGS is in the box. I dare say we're going to see a retirement from LGS because of his lag. I hope not. I really do hope not. Because he's having such a... Oh, dear. Oh, look at this McLaren driver. Footy has just done a double overtake. What a move to take the lead of the race. Bob's mate, that's better than your overtake. That's overtake of the week. And it seems to be affecting the other other drivers. And I really do feel for him there. And in fact, I think he's offline. Nah, I see him appearing offline. Yeah. And he's, he's now left. I really feel for LGS there. I really, really do. He looked really strong for it the other day. And here we go, Ryan. Oh, there's a side pod glitch! And Ryan's taking advantage from that. And not only that, Blast knocked them all down. Did he keep it going for a bold move there? That was, there was where there wasn't really a gap. Well, we were talking about how Davey on the prime tyres isn't going to get benefits from this first stint. He's in second and within a second of the leader here. What were you saying, Bobbitts? I know, I can read it, Bobbers. Alright, so Ryan there in turn one, but just had to had to back out of it at the last second. I know, we'll try this now. See if it works. Oh, and Southampton have equalised. What are you doing, United? Well, this is going to be massive. We've got this to do. Oh, as Davey goes quite wide there. <coughs> Excuse me, at turn seven. And he's lost a bit of time on Ryan on this lap. And uh, he's actually under threat from the option run of the Mercedes, which is Jambo. Jambo's back into P3. And he's now into P2. Come on, Jambo! Yeah, I said for you to win. On the outside of turn ten, and that is a brilliant move there from Jambo. He's back up. I didn't realise he made his way through the pack that quickly, and well, he could be back on it again. Well, I said for Jambo to win the race because. <laughs> well, I said I said fussy, but you know we shall. 
Which I was going to see Davey's got the DRS, but he's not close enough to Jamble. Jamble, probably the same, actually, to uh, the back of Ryan. So it's going to be as you were at the start of lap six, but Jamble's now all over the back of Ryan. Ryan's going to come under some serious pressure. All right, let's go on board with Jamble for a little bit. Just because you can do that. Just because I can do that. Yeah, Gravedigger said that's better. Hey. As a little bit actually, who's the driver that's right at the back and it's weekly Nish? Great performance from last week. Shocking performance this week. I wonder if he got involved in a first lap incident as well as Jambo as well. And well it was not it wasn't the first lap because he was he seemed to be alright, he must have been on lap three. Or lap two or lap four or lap five. But, well yeah. David's actually not, he's losing a little bit of ground to the front two on these prime tyres as Jambo is now getting really close to the back of the gearbox of that Ferrari of Ryan but there's another battle going on behind for P4 and P5 and there's a big cluster of cars all together for the remaining points paying positions as Jambo's got an, a really good run through the final corner and he's going to have DRS on the back of Ryan and this really should be easy pickings. Ryan's not bothering to defend, there goes Jambo. DRS open, and that's easy, that's taking candy from a baby, and Jambo takes the lead, which is probably, oh, a little surprising considering what happened to him on the first lap. Ryan's not giving up though, but he just doesn't have the traction to keep yeah. up there, and he goes wide as well. He was caught start a little bit by Jambo there, who had a really, uh, caught too much curve through turn two. So, I'm going on board with the battle for P8. Ooh, with the sole remaining Williams and also Flame Dragon. I'm currently on board with that battle really for P6. I believe that's the two McLaren drivers, that's Michaels and uh, Footy, as well as the Williams of Ascassin. Ascassin's in the points here. Well, he does score points week in, week out, it's just it's been at the bottom end, so this could be a good result. Fingers crossed, potentially for him. As he's in the gravel. <laughs> to say that. I tell you what though, Chris, on this lap, Davy has closed in on the two leaders at the front of the top. The options are clearly starting to wear off a little bit here, and indeed he has closed the gap. Indeed. The options go for after about nine laps. So I think you're going to be pushing nine. I think eight laps is a, is reasonable, is, and you should be okay. But well, I thought he was in NDRS there, Davy, but surprisingly he wasn't. Lag. And Flame Dragon is in the DRS though of Ascassin. Goes to the inside for turn one. We've still got another lot of track really. Conrad though tries to have a look as well but just doesn't get enough space to get the move done. Flame Dragon up to P8 and now catching the two McLarens in front. Well, I'll tell you what, Michael is actually on the prime tyres and he's sticking with his teammate. So Michael's looking good as well on these prime tyres. It'd be interesting to see how far they go. Well, Michaels is probably not the best person to keep an eye on for that, so he'll probably lag out. You never know, Chris. You never know. Go on, Michaels. We actually want you to stick in because it's my first dream. We, we want to see people stick in. Obviously, OGS is a... Uh, well, he just said OGS. Just once. Yeah. I, I also got the message from like 14 minutes ago from Katrina. Where is OG? So I'm going to try and get him in. I've invited him in twice now. Uh, well, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to bring him after the race. Unless he's run me now. <laughs> Has he? Oh, Michael's taking a bit too much curve there through that. No, but I... Oh, we've got the people in the box already. Told you, people would be pitting, somebody going for the undercut. I think, was it Jambo or was it Ryan pitting? It was one of the front two. It was Dizzy Cupid and Ryan. Told you, well, so Ryan's going for the undercut. Oh, and Footy's lost it. He's lost it on the curb of turn two, and Michaels has got ahead of him, and he takes Pete. Well, he's now P4. And as soon as he gets on the podium, he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Sorry, I'm just used to saying it.
You're just horrible to him, that's what you are. You're just mean. He put me in a Lotus in his knee. I have every right. <laughs> oh, and Fussy's made another mistake and Flame Dragon on the inside of turn nine and he's he's made that stick. Great move there from from Flame Dragon and he's moved his way up another position now. Fussy really starting to struggle a little bit. Just not there as of yet. Oh, Michaels has gone really wide through the first part of the uh, of the chicane as both Fussy and Flame Dragon and Assassin as well. So all three drivers fucked. I'm gonna stay on board with Flame Dragon because we want to see a Red Bull pit stop, the 3.7 pit stop that we used to seeing on this game. Well, and interestingly, Footy's gone on to the prime tyres, but Ascassian and Flame Dragon remain on the options. Really going for a different middle spin. The so weekly late now, up into P8 after, I think, probably making an early pit stop. Well, he may have been a pit stop, or he may have lost his wing or have some. Some damage of some sort, Chris, but um, he's recovering well. He's putting the good, some good lap time. He's back into the points for the time being. They all need a safe spot. Well, no, I don't think. Well, Ryan's going for the undercut, isn't he? Because I think Jamble's actually still out on his option tyres. Indeed. I'll see the longer he's out on his option tyres as he goes into the box this lap. Look, let's see. 13 laps on the. Primes and another 10 laps on the options, boom boom, he's in play. But Davy got the arrest from that lap, so he's going to be pulling away, and Jammo is indeed on the prime tyres. As Conrad also now into the box. Ryan has got out ahead of Jammo somewhat alarmingly. And it's halfway down the that's, long that's straight. The, that's the difference between two laps of, of you know, of undercut. He's gained about four, five seconds, and he's he Ryan's on the options, and Jamlo is on just come out on the primes, just ahead of Dizzy Cupid, who's also on option tyres. Tell you one thing, I did forget to do, Chris. Call the phone checks. No, I'm doing that. It's um, I've got to put record record them. <laughs> Typical pivots. I'm a fail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. This is where you're the co-commentator tonight. <laughs> So, I am still taking the lead. No, I'm in the lead. I've got a more race victory, but I said Jambo for like three races. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, you know, we're at the third way point of the season. We're still awaiting on this rain to come, so clearly there hasn't been a call yet. And that's why some people have gone on to option, have gone to the prime tyres, so we can probably last it out a little bit longer. It's just a case of when it is going to come. Now. The battle for P5 is still going on between Jambo and Dizzy Cupid. Dizzy Cupid slightly falling back a little bit, but nonetheless, he's doing a decent job trying to keep up with the uh, championship leader of Jambo, who's looking tonight for, I believe, his third victory of the season. Well, third victory, he'll be on pause. Well, I, I don't know who he'll be on pause. Much better who turned nine as well. He's got the DRS open. He's on the outside line. Can he out I'll, I'll break Jamlin towards turn ten? This will be very brave if he can get it done. And he's still hanging it there. Oh, he, oh he's just got a little too wide and Jamlin just hangs on for the time being, but he's coming under some serious pressure here. 
Jambo though had a bit of poor luck yesterday in the AR race, finished P9 overall. So obviously P9 is at least what he's doing at the minute. He's having a great race. As we've got Michaels and I believe that's Davy in the box. Well, the prime runners are pitting now, and here comes Dizzy Cupid with the DRS open. Pretty easy move, done dusted, and he's he's now up into what is now P3. Yet to run the prime time. Oh, of course, yes, but it's all down to when the rain comes because he may not he may not need to. I'm going to think that they will need to run the prime tyres. What, with a 27% chance of rain? I don't think so. I think the rain's going to come. It's going to come, but I reckon it's going to come by about lap 27. You really think that late? Mm. Well, we, sh we shall certainly find out. Brian is probably loving the sight of this, of the fact that Dizzy, oh, Dizzy Cupid just, just about clipping the gravel there, actually. Uh, going through turn nine, just about got away with it. Well, Jim's not really lost, lost too much time to him, actually, in all fairness. You know, he's still probably within the DRS zone. But if he stay in that, he could bring him closer back to the front again. Indeed. Ryan's not really pulled away either. He's actually leading and he's still out on their prime tires. It's probably the living dead, isn't it? I don't know. I'll go and have a look for it. I'm pretty, I think it will be. No, it's Davey. Oh, it's Davey. Was well, he not pitted then? Nope. Ah, so he's going to... Hmm. Well, 15 laps is pretty easy on the prime tyres. The prime tyres don't fade away like they do 100%. Gamble running a little wide at turn 3 there, I thought he had the auto break, but somehow he didn't, and he's still just there, I sort of out with Dizzy Keeper. There is a battle actually going on for P... I think it's P8? Yeah, it is P8 and P9. Not too sure how, who that is, because... Uh, I'm doing my checks whilst uh, doing this at the same time. Uh, would you like me to run that bottle for your bullet? Ah, uh, you can do if you wish. Flame Dragon in 5th place, Living Dead in 6th place, so the two Red Bulls are definitely that's impressive. Jambo in 7th, the dogs have woken up, Michael's in 8th. Wait, you said Jambo 7, Jambo's 4. But he in 7th. <laughs> Alright, so Michaels is in 8 and Scatting is in 9. That's where the battle lies at the moment. It's also a battle for P5. Jambo is now out of the DRS on a Dizzy Cupid, so I will now move back to that battle whilst doing everything else at the same time. So, as you mentioned, the Red Bull is in 6 with the Flame Dragon leading that. Putty on the wrong side is now up into P7. Bad race in some respect. Michael's back in eight, but he's on the option tyres, so he could catch a team once again. And the scout is actually sticking with them. In P9, P10, is Connor Eyes not particularly having a great race, unfortunately, at the moment. And then Ayres is right at the back. I think he's just going to the prime tyres. I don't know what happened to him at the start of the race. As the, as the gaps have started to spread out a little bit at the moment, we're gonna, I'm just, it's just been a case of waiting for Michaels to close in on his team there, which will probably be the next battle. But if you've got any questions, I think uh, get them in on the chat box. If you want to get chat going on. Or if you've got anything to ask us in, in private or in person, send them to myself, XML Bob, but it's also Righteous Tag 840. So, as Davy Boxes. But Davey, Box is going for option tyres, I presume. So let's make a prediction, Chris. What lap is the rain going to come? What lap? 25. You know, let's, let's, actually, let's have a better one. What lap do you think they'll have to pit, for instance? 27. I'm going to go with 24. Ah, good luck with that. <laughs> Why is that? Yeah, the rain. I reckon the rain will come around the lap. So Davey now, after pitting, he's down into P6, right behind the battle of the two Red Bulls. And this is getting feisty, because the Living Dead has just got past his teammate, Flame Dragon. He's 
Living Dead on. He's on the uh, the option ties, isn't he, Living Dead? Yeah, both are on the option ties. Uh, so Flint Dragon must have made a mistake, or the Living Dead's just made a good overtake. But yeah, that's well. They're now battling for P4 and P5. More good construction points, but looks like Flint Dragon's struggling in this lap. But Davy looks like he's all over him, as as well as as Michaels is all over his team uh, of HP Fussy. <laughs> As you were right, Chris, the dogs have awoken, which is obviously fantastic. So tonight for the second half of the race, you are joined by Righteous Tag 40, XL Bobbers, Milo and Radar. Uh, feed it. Oh, as Gaffin got out of shape through turn 10. And we've got people boxing. That includes Busy Cupid and Ryan. Busy Cupid and Ryan are boxing already. Well, they've been on their options another eight laps, Chris. Chris will have to go for another set before the rain comes. Yeah, well, Ryan's on the prime tyres. And Dizzy Hume's on another set of options. Well, it's, it could be all down to when they get a the call, but Dizzy Hume's found himself behind a scaffolding, so he comes out in ninth, and Ryan's come out in seventh. But this could get a little bit interesting with Dizzy Cupid now all over the back of Ascassin for what is now P8. He's on the fresh rubber on the option tyres and Ascassin is trying to throw Dizzy Cupid having a look through turn four. That would have been really brave. He's actually on, he's going to have the outside line for turn five here. Can he make this stick around the outside? He's still there, but he can. Dizzy Cupid around the outside of turn five. That is a brilliant move uh, to take that position. He needed that done and he gets it done. Uh, x Grave Gravedigger on stream says laps for Inters will be between lap 23 and 26. That's interesting. I, I haven't got that on there. I'll have to go back off and go on it again. You're on love. <laughs> One love. No? <laughs> Don't make me play the buzzer. I will do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. I will do it. I'm joking. That's what I thought. <laughs> so nearly two thirds of this race done in the number five laps of all. We've just we've just gone over the halfway point technically. Yeah, number five laps is two thirds. Go keep up the back. And it is a jambler who's now in the in the lead. His his gap slowly being reduced down by the two, well, by the Red Bull of the Living Dead, who's on the option ties, he's gaining up quickly on the back of Jambo, both in AOR F1, remember, so they should be similarly paced, then Davies on the back of the Living Dead, so this could potentially become a three-way battle for the lead. And Davy also in AOR, but I think he's in something like GP2. That sounds really trying wrong. to get my attention. It sounds like a Ouija board, stop it. <laughs> it sounds like a Ouija board. A Ouija board. Indeed, as Davey's now all over the back of the Red Bull of the Living Dead here. Davey only pitting a couple of laps ago. His tyres are much fresher compared to Living Dead's, and you can quite clearly tell as you come through the chicane. He's, he's going to have the DRS here, and I think this should be an, should be an easy move for the Living Dead. There goes the D uh, sorry for Davey, sorry, there goes the DRS, flaps wide open and easy peasy lemon squeezy. And we do it. So now they move on towards Jambo. Indeed, indeed they do. So it looks like Davey's gonna be could potentially be Jambo's main threat, but depends on how Ryan and and uh Core go as well. But where is Ryan I think he's like down in what, P six, P five? Around that area? Something like that. But, you have to remember, Jambo only pitted 9 laps ago. These tyres can go for it easily another 7, 8 laps. So, Jambo, you have to say, for tyre life, is probably in the best position. Davy's only been on them tyres for 4 laps, and really, another 4 or 5 laps, they'll be gone. It's tough to see, obviously, it's all down to when this rain is going to come. If it ever does come. It should. It should, but it's home. It's not like the last game it didn't show. In this game it does it does come no matter what.
Anyway, Jambo's boring me for now, so let's move over towards a battle, because I saw one. And it's not the battle between Conorus and Escassin, it's the one further forward of that. And it's HP Footy and Ryan. And there's also two drivers in front of them. And Footy has got DRS open, but he's struggling in seventh with them prime tyres. Yeah, I think Ryan's just made a move on him at this lap at some point, and uh, he just got uh, enough of a gap to, for the DRS for not to, uh, to gain an advantage on him. So Ryan, obviously, on this really special time, he's trying to make a move up the field because he needs to, and he needs probably the rain to ha hold off for a fair bit longer. To be fair, Ryan's probably get to the end of the race with these times. It'll be a, oh, it'll be a close one. Yeah, 15 laps of easy. <laughs> 17 yeah, laps. on what people's setups is, because, you know, if it's tyre conserving or if it's a tyre shredder. Or just pure LGS. Uh, no, we're not on about connections here, Chris. Nor are we on about scaffolding. Well, at least he's still in the race. As I've just got my compulsory 10 second lag. So guys, this is what you have to see, well, this is not what you have to see, this is what I have to see every single race. And as you saw, I started the lag from 1 minute 2, it ended up finishing at 1 minute 12. As we have extra markers into the box for probably the last time if the rain doesn't come. Well, he's been on the prime, so he'll go for another set of option tyres, Chris, so it's, it all depends. But yes, I've actually just seen them like appear on the tw on the on Twitch as it is. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Davey's pulled a gap for the living dead, and he is really starting to reel in the leader of Jambo. I think it's only going to be a couple more laps, and he's going to be right on the back of him. So Ryan is up into P5 once again. Footy is now slipping back through the field into P6. His prime size is clearly not. Uh, well, they have seen much better days. Flame Dragon is now into P7, just ahead of Michaels. He's come out the pits and he's in P8. So if he gets ahead of Flame Dragon as soon as he can, he should get some clean air. And Davey should get DRS within either this half or the next one. There's Jambo boxes. Maybe they have had the call for rain. Then why would Jambo box? Well, if it, if the rain comes in 15 minutes... Jambo's got another set of primes! He's clearly going to the end of the race. Oh, has he, has he made a catastrophic error? Nah, I'm changing my vote. Davey's winning. You can't change your vote, Chris. I just did! You can't do that, though. I can. No, you can't. I get a free choice because I was just retired, so... No, no you don't. I don't know. Jambo was my free choice. You went and picked him. Oh, playing Dragons and he, oh, he nearly loses it through turn two. That took too much curve and he's the second person now I've seen to have done that. Well, the good thing for people like Ryan and Jambo is the fact that DT Cupid is yet to the box for the prime. <coughs> Obviously, he's been trying to hang on for the rain to come, but it's it's just not arrived. So this is Grave Digger's window stopping box for intermediate tyres as Davy goes into the box. Now, is that to cover off Jambo? Probably. In fact, it's actually living dead, so... Yeah. God damn it, Davey, why are you so far ahead? Actually, it's going to be interesting to see if Jambo's going to come out ahead of living dead. He does, but not by much. And living dead's on another set of options as well. That's uh... 
Flame Dragon is trying to defend from Mexar on Michaels coming down the pit straight. Michaels has got the DRS as they come in towards turn one. Outbro oh, it just outbreaks him on the outside there, does Michaels, and that's a move done and dusted. Great move there, and he moves his way into P6. And that's another great move, that's better than x row bonuses. Another great overtake of the week. Milo doesn't agree. Milo agrees, you can all hear him agree. No, he doesn't. He does. Milo, say nothing if you agree. There you go. God damn it, he's trying to eat something, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Flame Dragon really struggling on his prime tyres now. Michaels is just streaking away. And in fact, he's gone in the gravel at turn 9 as a result. Oh, this, this is the boring part of the race. Nobody's in for a battle. Well, have a go at them after the race then, Chris, if you really want. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Not that they'd be um, happy if you did that, but yeah, there you go. Well, I'll just have a cut of stream of fighting because uh, it's never boring. <laughs> it's a bit mean, isn't it? Joking, cool. I'm not like Dan where I don't stream at all. <laughs> be fair though, I didn't blame him. Oh, I don't blame him either. He still could have given me the password. <laughs> what, so then you would have done? Yeah. Oh, for God's sake, why didn't he then? <laughs> Could have seen my epic move. I'm taking the lead, and actually leading. And Weekly Dave is back in the pits, and he's officially last again. So he's gone to the option tyres, and you know, I don't... Is this rain going to come? Where is it? The clouds have been here all race, and there's nothing happening. Well, currently the rain is in Baron Finesse. It's not, it's not raining here, or else you'd be able to hear it. That's Davy Boxes! So he's going for an option since at the end of the race, so he could have a run on Jambo at the end. It's possible. Dizzy Cupid remains out. Well, he's got... Ooh, he's got, he, he's he's got, got no choice but to box. He's got the primes to do at the end. Ryan, however, and Jambo. Jambo can <laughs> see Ryan now. Yeah, yeah, Milo agrees now with the fact that you're shit. And Davey's just about behind Jambo here. This is going to be easy meat for Jambo uh, losing the place to Davey. You mean easy meat for Davey? That's why I said what I said afterwards. God damn you, Bubba. This is literature and language skills are uh, not really the highest quality. I've got a C grade, okay? Yeah, well I got a B, so there's, there you go, there's the difference. <laughs> well... My name is Jim. My name is Jim. <laughs> my name is Jim. <laughs> so there's Dave, he's already starting to close down onto the back of Jambo. I he's, is, he, is he within the DRS zone through that? No. That was turn 9 and before turn 10? Not quite, not this time, anyway. Oh, someone's gone off track. Someone has gone off track just before turn... Turn 7. Well, there you go, guys. The yellow flags are out. And it's probably Michael's disconnecting. It was flame driving. Oh. He's, he's lost an M player and he was in the gravel. I bet you his controller disconnected. Mm, potential, it's possible. Jambo with that lovely 124.8 there. And Davey now with that DRS. Still couldn't get past. Well, he may not have got past this time around, but it's just a matter of time. It's not a matter of time, it's a matter of corners. <laughs> I'll give it six more corners after the next one. I think it's uh, six more corners after this. this now, 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 now it's four gone. more corners. That's three corners. That's two corners. Okay, after the next corner, the overtake will happen. Why? Well, because it's into turn ten with the DRS. Yeah. Yeah, and he's not close enough, is he? Well, Jambo <laughs> fucked him up, didn't he? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't watching. Well, I was on board, so... Well, 
Nonetheless. The rain's come down, Chris. The rain is come. The rain is coming down. That's what she said. Why does it always rain on me? I said lap 27, I win. <laughs> no, because it's that, we said when would be pit for intermediate. Yeah, we didn't list that. They may not even have to. They may not even have to pit for intermediate. That would be the end of this lap. Is Dizzy Cupid still out then on his tyres? Yeah. He's really... He's, well, he's got a, it's, well, even if it doesn't... The rain doesn't come down hard enough, he's going to have to pit. My name is Ian. Uh, God, oh. <laughs> what, what's the magic word? Testicles. It's actually plus, but okay. <laughs> Right, I've only got so, one more person to watch now. So Peterfell Bobbers is only watching one more person for the evening, then he is done. Yeah, then I can bugger off if I really wanted to. He could, but he, I, I know he's desperate to listen to me do the interviews. I'm going to be the official David Frost of the interviews. As I said, I might just take over. Oh, no. It's going to be really close towards the front now. It is, and mainly between 4th and 3rd, as well as 6th and 7th. This, like, did you give me no. a slot for him? No, he doesn't. None of them do. Well, at the end of the day, I win, because nobody said after 27 laps, so I win no matter what if they do that. Well, yes, that's true, but let's see what happens for, for the end of the race. Because, oh, it looks like there was a move there going to turn one, Chris. I was like, was that me just thinking? It was, and the rain has got a lot heavier now, and Jambo remains ahead. This could play into Dizzy Cupid's hands with him staying out. If they pit in this lap for him to be tired. But as we saw in the wet qualifying session, Ryan is quicker. Only by three tenths, but he's still quicker. Anything can happen, though. Yeah, but you have to say, this race has been, everything is awesome. Indeed, as, uh, just, as I'm on board with Connor Eyes, he's the last person I need to check, and he's got Weekly Ness now, he's caught up to the back of him. I so, Mercedes are battling the Force Indians, both of them. Keep it has been closed up significantly on this lap, he needs to pit onto the, the, the intermediate, or he's going to lose the lead. And Davey is still behind Jambo. And is it the Living Dead in P2? No, that, that, that is Ryan. None of them are boxing. Jambo doesn't box, nor does Davey, and nor does the Living Dead. Interestingly, Ryan has 20 seconds of penalty. But Ryan's about to go for the lead now. Oh, it's been a bit of contact and Dizzy Cube has gone off track and Ryan has made the move as Davy has gone into third place. So in two corners, Davy has gone up into the podium spot as Dizzy Cube is struggling on these tyres and is about to lose yet another place going round turn four. Dizzy, Dizzy Cupid's tyres have gone. He should have just boxed and taken the gamble and he's now going to lose. He's lost the position. To Jambo's lost time as well because if you look, Jambo, Dizzy, Dizzy Cube is holding much. Dizzy, yeah, and here comes the living dead on the inside and Dizzy Cupid I think just wisely got out of the way and he's not not going to ruin people's races but I think that's cost him a chance here but these five could still all battle for it towards the end well that is if they don't drop him because already he's over a second behind Indeed, as the we as we has actually made the move on Connor Eyes I think it was a DR, easy DRS move into turn one I'd recommend them all going in for intermediate tyres this lap. Ryan is struggling, Davey is finding a little bit more pace on them options, and Jambo is struggling as well. Indeed, yeah, every, every, even the people on the fresher tyres are clearly struggling. And Jambo boxes, he's the first one to go in. Is anybody else? Dizzy, Dizzy else Cupid goes, goes in. in. Dizzy Cupid goes in, there's also P3 and 5 going to the, po the box for intermediate. Everyone is staying out, I think they've made the wrong decision. And Jambo's been held up in the box by Dizzy Cupid. Oh dear, Jambo once again. But nonetheless, he's going to be on these inters and he's going to be gaining the pace more 
than what Ryan will be. People behind the pit in Scassin. He goes into the box from what was P8. Weekly Nays pits. Connor Rice pits. Well, I'll tell you what, Bubbers. I'm going to get on for the top two at the minute because they're battling. Now done. So for these last three and a half laps, I can watch all this. As Ryan is coming to serious pressure. From the for the fourth inning of Davy Davy, obviously on the option tires. Oh, well, he's struggling for traction. He's got the DRS has been disabled. There is no DRS, and look at the amount of time these guys are going to be losing. They have to be so cautious. Look how slow they're going. They're and so Jambo so is going to be absolutely flooring the pedal in so, that Mercedes. So so will Dizzy Cupid because even though he's lost those positions, he might actually gain a net P2. I wouldn't go that far. And Flame Dragon's out! Flame Dragon's lost connection. Oh, three laps. Three and a half. We still laps. have XRL scaffolding as. I'll tell you what, David's trying to. Oh, here we go! Side by side into the. They're still battling! <laughs> oh, and Davey's made it! What an overtake in the pit lane! Like, that's going down for shittest overtake of the week! <laughs> <laughs> it's if he didn't make the move anyway, because he would have. Oh, actually, will Ryan come out ahead? No. Yes! He's been held up! Ryan's got back ahead! Oh, and Jambo's in the lead! And Dizzy Keefe's gonna take second! There he goes, he takes second! I don't care, Jambo's on for the win! I can still get my one point! <laughs> so Jambo's got about, whoa, about, what, a four second lead over Dizzy Keefe, and he's gonna be laughing under that helmet, the fact that these guys stayed out of the extra lap, the rain got a lot heavier, and they've cost themselves a potential victory. And Dizzy Keeping now looks good for second. So the battle is the P3 between Ryan and David. They've got away from the Living Dead. And behind the Living Dead, Living Dead is P5. Behind him in sixth place is, XP, is HPX Footy. So he's got ahead of Michaels. I think Michaels is on his own in seventh. Still not a bad result for him. But the, as I said, the battle is for that final podium paying position. It's Ferrari versus False India once again. Ryan, who needs this result because of the disconnection last week in China. Davey, who has struck some good form recently, taking second place last week. Can he get another podium? I was trying to think, Chris. He was qu Ryan was quickest in the, um, in the quality, wasn't he? In the wet. Yeah. I'm just trying, here's another thing. Is it wet enough to have him to change to wet tyres? No. There'll be no point either. Davy is really struggling for traction. Ryan has just monstered away. It's actually the battle is for P5. The Living Dead going really defensive from HP Exposity down towards turn one. This is for 10 World Championship points here. Living Dead later on the brakes and he manages to hold it on, on the inside line. But Footy will have a better run through turn two. He's trying to look at the inside of turn three, but. Living Dead shut the door right on him before he could get alongside. Towards turn four though, could be another chance for Footy. No, he's, he's not going as wide as the Living Dead is, but the Living Dead still gets a decent amount of traction coming through. So far. he's gone wide at turn five and Footy taking a sneaky look into turn five, but oh, is he just about side by side? As he's going into turn seven, but no, Living Dead holds on and Footy. And that's also a made a mistake. With just over one more lap to go, can Jambo hold on for what will be, well, a fantastic race win for him, touch wood. I have no wood. I've got cardboard, I've got... Well, I've got wood. I've, I've got paper. I mean, you, you can paint your head for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jambo's come across the line, he's got one more lap to go, did he keep it? Holding on to that second place, and oh, Living Dead had a little bit of lag there, and Footy's now all over the back of him once again as he comes through the last cut. Oh, he got a lot of oversteer there, Footy, but he's still got the slip straight. Excuse me. As he comes down the pit straight, Living Dead's got very defensive to the inside line. Footy's pulled out the slip straight, he's looking for a move on the outside once again, but the Living Dead just shuts the door on him again, and he's managed to cover him off for another lap. Well, for another turn at least, anyway. Interestingly, Footy has... no, not... yeah, it is Footy. Footy's got a sense of complaint. Yeah, somebody actually... whoever's P7 has gone on to... has pitted, and Michaels has pitted, and he's gone on to wet tyres. 
My and he's gonna come out he's gonna come out the, behind the three guys that are in eighth, ninth and tenth. Michael's. There goes the scatting. Oh and he's gonna lag out now. Just, Connor Ice just doesn't manage to get the move done, but why has he done that? Fanta. Jambo is starting to struggle though as he's into the final sector. On the final lap as there's a battle now for P3. Davey's on the inside at turn 10. Ryan's made a mistake and Davey's going to have the inside into turn 11 and he's taken it! But Ryan's got the inside for turn 12. For turn 12, always a little bit of a nudge there. The side by side now as he's coming towards turn 13 but Davey's got the race in line. He's taken it, Jambo. And Jambo has won the race. Oh, it's been a little bit of a collision there. Ryan has to give that place up. Yeah, he'll have to. But Davey wins. Did he keep it second hand? I think Ryan's letting Davey through here. Yes, he is. Fair place to him. He gave it a go. But Davey takes third. Ryan takes fourth place. And where's Michaels? Um, is he still in ninth? Cause... Yeah. Indeed he is, yeah. So the wet and struggling. Work, he's just cost himself points. Extra points. At the end of the day, the points he's getting in this race is what I've got for this season. <laughs> I don't know why he's done that. He's just cost himself, as I said, six points and say he's going to get two. But yeah, Weekly Death comes around the final corner. He takes P7. Escassin is just going to hang on to eighth. Michaels will be ninth. And Connor Rice rounds out the top ten and takes tenth place. So, in the end, it was a four-second gap for Jambo over Dizzy Cupid. Davy taking third place. Ryan has that 20-second penalty, which we will ask him after after the interviews and see why he got that. The same with Fussy with his 10 second penalty. So we'll get our top three in and we'll get their thoughts and opinions on the race. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Yep. Oh, I don't know whether, I don't know whether we should do that. Oh yeah, no, we we definitely got to do that. <laughs> Everybody knows they need to. There we go. We're just gonna wait for the final place on the podium, which I believe is GSY Davy. So as soon as he's in, we'll start the podium. I've invited, I've invited him in. Just give him a give him a second. Old, you're all one, one. There you go. Right, we have our podium into the party, and we are going to start with tonight's race winner, and it's Jambo. Jambo, you had, let's say, a roller coaster of a race from the start of the race to the end, and you ended up winning, and yet gave me yet another point against Bobbitt, so I thank you. But how was the race from your point of view? Well, at the beginning, it was laggy. Like, And then he like his car came back up again and hit me, and I went to like last, and it was just dodging everyone's crashes ahead. Well, you uh, well, we noticed that you went on to two prime stints at the end before the rain came down. Was that supposed to be strategic, or did you make a mistake? But I forgot about the rain for most of it. And I realised, and I, like, I was calculating it all in my head, I was like, that's a mistake, because then I got pretty, because there wasn't a point really. I should have, on my second prime, I probably should have gone on to option. But I just, so I just saved my prime. Well, nonetheless, you did win an absolute fantastic race, and I believe that is your third race of the uh, season that you won. So, congratulations to you. DC Cupid, you don't have your mic in. Um, if you can send us a message on what your race was, that would be absolutely great. Um, but then we do move on to our third place driver, Davey, aka Gravy, aka KFC. Uh, how was your race? And what a tremendous move to get the third place on the final corner. Um, race was good, starting on primes compared to most people. And yeah, the move on the final corner. Help due to Ryan was out a few percent. Oh, interesting. So, so, well, obviously you actually made the move into uh, into our turn ten and uh, stuck it through turn eleven before you were side by side through twelve, and then you had just a better traction. And so, is that why he gave you a little nudge into the chicane? 
Was it just yeah. to see if he could uh, just force you into a mistake? Yeah, he said he was on the inside, like, too late as I was turning in and gave me a nudge and gave it back as well. Well, never, never, nevertheless, you know, that's a second and a third place finish in two races for you. You're, you're the man on form at the moment, Davey. Can you keep this run going? Hopefully. Monaco should be fun. <laughs> well, fantastic. Well, uh, Dizzy Cupid, oh, he hasn't sent either of us a message on his thoughts on the race. He did actually send me a message earlier saying he may have won the race if it wasn't for a potential incident, actually, which we will talk about later on. But congratulations on Les to Jambo on taking his third third race win out of five races. So did you keep it on his first podium at the season, actually, in, in a solid second place? And Davey picking up third place and another podium for him this season once again. Uh, well, I'd just like to thank Chris for streaming tonight. Obviously, he did a fantastic job, so well done to you there, Chris. Uh, so thank you once again to our top three people for joining us. Uh, tomorrow night we will have F4 Division. Um, hopefully we should have, once again have another really good race in the F4 division before the doubleheader on Wednesday night of F5 and T6 before we return at the weekend on the Sunday with the F1 division circulating around the Principality of Monaco. But from myself, from Christopher Moss and from our top three drivers, it's good night. Before we go actually, I've just got a message from Dizzy Cupid, so I'm going to read it out to you guys. <laughs> you guys can see it on the stream, but he says he had a good start, he got held up on the first load of laps, uh, and then it was a very heated race with Ryan. So. He, he seems to be very happy with his second place nonetheless, that's 18 great points that his teammate will no doubt rage about because he's Scottish, but you know, at the end of the day, great race for Dizzy Cupid, uh, so again, well done to you, um, and yeah, like I say, next week, Monaco, tomorrow you can see me and Bobberts and everybody just watch me get 10 second lag again, but yeah, from us all tonight, officially now, this is goodbye from us and see you next week.